evidence against you is overwhelming. There's no doubt you're going to be going away for a long time. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I've got a question. Where'd you get that portfolio? Hello guys and welcome back. A few years ago I was given a portfolio by one of the vendors that my company did business with at the time and it was a cheap vinyl kind of plasticky thing with a zipper that went all the way around it and actually I ended up using it a ton. It was really really handy to put all of my paperwork in to have something to write on and something to write with during job site meetings to have my business cards with me all that stuff that you need at a meeting rather than trying to gather it all together and just going in with it underneath your arm it was really nice to have it all in one place that way when you go back to the next meeting everything that you have is still there and it was really just an essential part of my kit for a while but of course it wasn't too long before the seams started to rip the pull tab actually broke right off the zipper and it just started to kind of fall apart and degrade I mean, it was free after all what do you expect so the search was on for replacement and I checked a lot of different places I looked at uh, Levenger's I looked at pad and quill and I even considered saddleback for about a minute and I just couldn't find something that had all the features that I wanted. Now this one, the one that I was trying to replace had like a built-in calculator and uh, like, a, like a window where you could put like a license, a lot of stuff that I didn't need. So I knew the stuff that I wanted to remove from there, but I also knew the essential stuff that I absolutely wanted to keep. I had a hard time finding it and I've been looking for literally years. So here's what I needed my portfolio to have. It needed to be simple. I wanted it to be made out of a leather that would look better the more beat up that it got. It needed a way to carry an A4, 8.5 by 11 size top opening pad of some kind, a place to put a pen or a pencil, a few small pouches, not too much, but most importantly, and this is the thing I had a hard time finding, I wanted a place to keep my, my iPad Pro. I have the big one. I think it's like 12 inch or 12 and a half inch, whatever it is. I needed a place to put that. That's what I couldn't find in a lot of these things because oftentimes I, I have to pull that out to reference a document or if we're working off, off a set of drawings, it could be hundreds if not thousands of drawings and you can't bring all those in there with you. So being able to have that on my iPad was a really big deal. It wasn't such, it wasn't the end of the world to bring it in separately, but it would have been nice to have a little spot just to kind of put that and not have to worry about it. Again, keeping everything compartmentalized. That's what I was after. So it should have been no surprise when Satchel and Paige had the answer to my problem. After all, they've been known for taking classic pieces like a duffel bag or a backpack and putting a new, much more useful spin on them. Remember the duffel bag that I reviewed a while ago and had the side opening compartment where you could put your laptop and all the accessories in there? What a brilliant idea and I haven't seen anybody else do it, especially in that handsome of a form factor. Or how about their garment bag? Remember that thing which seemed to have almost like unlimited capacity, then you would zip it up and it was actually like extremely handsome, had waxed canvas and leather on the outside. I mean, they have a history of doing that. So the fact that they came out with the portfolio that I wanted, it's no surprise. This is the Padfolio. It's available now for pre-order for $195 and it's absolutely wonderful. It's really nice to know what to expect with some brands like Satchel and Page Leather, which I've praised in the past for its depth and its refinement. This leather, it's a little bit formal for the construction site, but just wait a little while until it gets beat up a little bit. It's gonna look awesome. A little bit more about that leather, it is full grain French cowhide, which is then vegetable tanned in Italy. It has a nice weight to it, between five and six ounces. There's some really nice variation in the leather too, which separates it from lesser quality varieties. So you can see some really nice grain patterns in there and just a nice lively look to the leather. The finishing on the inside, British calfskin is more matte. On the inside, there are two straps which will hold any number of A4 sized notebooks. I prefer the Rodeo Spiral bound model but any top bound cardboard backed notebook will fit. A nice simple pen holder sits inside the spine and will accommodate thicker pens up to about the size of a sharpie without a problem. I usually bring a Rotring mechanical pencil since I like to make a lot of different like notes and stuff like that all over the meeting minutes and also I make a lot of mistakes so it holds that perfectly and I think it looks really cool in there as well. On the opposite side, there are two pockets for business cards, a top pocket for documents or even a smaller notebook, and behind all of this is a suede lined pocket which will hold my iPad. Thank God they included this. This is what I was looking for. 
The dimensions of the pad folio are 12 inches tall, 9.5 inches wide, 1 inch thick, and it weighs about 1.5 pounds dry. Aside from the iPad holder, which I mentioned was really hard to find, one of the other things that I couldn't seem to find in the portfolio was a decent closure. So the original one, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video, had a zipper all the way around, and that was great because you could literally throw it in your work truck or your car or whatever, and nothing would fall out of it. It was zipped and held in place. However, that's not really necessary, and I'm not really a fan of zippers, especially when they have to go around corners like that, because that's where they tend to wear. So I wanted something else. And I looked at the saddleback option, it had this big giant buckle on the front, and it was just, it was a bit too much. It looked a little bit costumey to me. There were a lot of portfolios out there which didn't have any sort of closure. Uh, I just, I wanted something that would keep it closed, but didn't get in the way. I almost kind of didn't matter what it was. And for a little bit of time, I actually sort of, I thought maybe I could buy something and, and sort of retrofit it, or maybe just put an elastic band around it. It was, a, I know it was a last resort, but I was getting to that point. What Satchel and Page did is they took a small leather strap with a little brass snap on the front, and that's all there is. So you snap that thing in there, and really, barring any kind of like really big jostling, it holds everything in place very nicely. Now, if you put loose leaves in there, which sometimes I do, you just sort of set papers inside, you don't actually tuck them into the pockets, they will come out. But oftentimes what I do is you carry it underneath your, your arm like a book or you're putting it into a bag. Usually it's pretty secure. So I actually really like this closure. It gets out of the way. It doesn't look costumey or like it's trying too hard and it really fits the rest of it very well. I love the sort of rugged yet refined look of this thing. It's very masculine. It looks very, very nice. Um, but it's not... It's not like I'm trying to be like Indiana Jones with this thing, which oftentimes a lot of bag makers, uh, they, they kind of err on the side of a little bit too much, a little bit too rugged, if that's even a thing. And especially when it comes to a meeting, I don't want to go in and have anybody make any assumptions of, oh boy, here comes a real cowboy. You want people to take you seriously. Now, every time I review a Satchel and Page product, people ask about the leather. They want to know about how shiny it actually is and how it's going to hold up over time. The truth is, it's not really shiny at all. I know that some pictures can be deceiving. I don't really see it as being shiny. It does have a, a, a definite sheen to it, but it's almost like a wet chalkboard, kind of like a semi-gloss rather than, you know, really, really high polished, glossy kind of thing. How does that leather age? Well, I've noticed that what happens is in areas of wear, it will become a little bit more matte. And this actually helps the look, in my opinion, because it makes it look more varied. So. In places where it rubs against the side of your bag or, or areas where it flexes all the time, that shine starts to rub off and it just really becomes a nice, supple, soft leather, just like you would imagine it would be. Any kind of fine leather good, everybody knows that soft, just very yielding and, and pleasant feel of fine leather. That's what it's going to turn into because that's what it is. Any kind of aniline dyed leather will take on a life that you give it. It will show kind of the way you use it. To me, worn in leather is one of the most beautiful materials that exists. The stitching is nice and even. They used a perfect gauge thread, in my opinion. It's not too small, it's not too big. They need to use some loud, gaudy color. It's a very nice, refined look. And that's what Satchel and Page they do best, in my opinion. And anybody who emails me asking about briefcases or whatever, I always ask, well, what do you want it to look like? What do you want it to be? And I always recommend Satchel and Page if what you're looking for is a more refined leather bag. Although, to be honest, it has a certain rugged edge to it, too. You know, they use shoulder leather, so that has a lot of natural wrinkling to it. It's an area which has a lot of flex, so all that is there, and it just makes a very nice, refined, but still masculine-looking product. I think they really, they have a great aesthetic. Satchel and Page has one of my favorite aesthetics. I think they do a wonderful job. Overall, I can tell you that this is the nicest portfolio that I've ever seen or used. And Satchel and Page, you know, with their lifetime warranty and just the way they do things, uh, I have no doubt that it's going to last for a very, very long time. I'm really glad that I didn't go for a lesser quality one or jump the gun and rush and just get something that didn't suit the needs that I have. This one has been excellent in its use. So if you're somebody who has similar needs or if you just need a portfolio or if you're just looking to kind of up your game a little bit and show up to a meeting without just a pad and pencil 
and look like you're put together, well, this will be perfect for you. And it comes in under 200 bucks. That's pretty awesome. It's available for pre-order right now. We are in September of 2019. If you're watching this after, you could probably just go and buy it straight up. But uh... so anyway, guys, I want to know what you think about the Satchel and Page Pad Folio. Please let me know in the comments section. I will talk to you down there and I will definitely see you here next week. Same time, same place, same channel, all that good stuff. Take care.